up y'all welcome back to rick and morty i'm your host josh peck christopher edwin cooksey is an american singer songwriter producer and photographer i mean i didn't even know that but goes by the name of r&b jesus frank ocean frank ocean has released three world changing projects nostalgia ultra channel orange and the project we're going to look at today blonde blonde why the fuck have i not covered this yet this is fucking this is graphic design 101 this is album cover graphic design 101 tisk tisk i've recorded this a few different times this is this is not the first time i've recorded uh how to frank ocean uh blonde before this is not the first time i did a few months back but i eh, wasn't happy with the recording i was very tired in that recording and i sounded very very down and depressive and sad but now i'm awake it's fucking it's the middle of summer and i got a fucking epic microphone so you know might might as well you know blonde is one of those album covers that becomes legendary because of how simple it is yet how distinct it is everyone knows the idea of the blonde album cover if you see someone else recreate the blonde album cover and it's totally different you still know it's the blonde album cover that's what's cool about that album cover it's legendary i think um i think not pitchfork fucking hell it might have been pitchfork actually i think pitchfork named it uh best album of the year if i'm not mistaken no best album of the century sorry so that's why it's such a it's such an iconic album cover and i don't know why i haven't recreated it yet so so let's just fucking get into it gamers let's fucking do it so first things first i found a textured background a little bit matchbox it's called overlay for the background of the album because the backing white is not pure like unedited white it has a little bit of uh, has a little bit of grain to it and i got rid of the saturation and up to the white so it looks more white and not like a reddish pale and then after that, I made a 1,000 by 1,000 square, the same dimensions as the album cover. I don't know why I do it in 1,000 by 1,000. I should probably do it in 2 by 2, but whatever. I created a box around it. I changed it from a fill box to a stroke box so that you have a nice little outline. I did that by 20. I, I, yeah, 20. And I just I made that pure white to go around the out the outskirts of the album cover. Then after that, I brought up the original album cover, and then I created a box around the image of Mr. R&B Jesus, and I created a box around that, so when I find a picture that I want to use, I can import it, and then just use a clipping mask tool to make it fit perfectly in the box. Clipping mask is fucking epic. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. But before I did that, I wanted to grab the parental advisory, and the barcode. I don't, really don't think the barcode means anything. If it does, you know, tell me, because it's pretty epic. Fun fact about barcodes. Did you know that they actually look for the whites, not the not the blacks? They scan the white part, not the black part of the barcode? That's pretty fucking epic. I didn't know that. And then I found a picture that I really liked, but then I realized that the background was kind of exactly the same as my background. So I added, I wanted to do a little goofy shit, so I inverted it. But I didn't like the invert color, so what I did was after I inverted, I went to the hue section, and I shifted the hue all the way to the right. His skin tone and like the blacks of the image look like they're supposed to be there, but the whites make it look like some heavenly shit's going on, so I think that's a really cool thing I didn't even think about doing. And then I found the font. The font is called Long Haul. I believe it's on DeFont. Not really hard to find. I typed in the classic bucket. And, uh, you know, made it a little greener. I wanted to just shake it up a little bit, make this album cover a little cooler. Speaking of shaking it up, I wanted to add a little something, because I could be done right here, but I wanted to give it a little extra flair. So I took this, like, shrink wrap overlay thing that I have. I inverted it so the blacks were a little darker than the whites. I, you know, adjusted some some contrast and brightness, and I changed the overlay to multiply so that it looks like it, the album cover's been shrink wrapped. And that's, that's pretty much it. That's how you make Blonde by Frank Ocean. Blonde is not a bad album. It's not one of my favorite albums like a lot of people. I know a lot of people pl uh, play Blonde religiously. I'm not one of them. I can come back to a few tracks every once in a while, but you know. Frank Ocean, he's he's good. I like, I like Big Franklin. His features are fucking epic. I was listening to Watch the Throne recently and i did not know that frank ocean is on is on there multiple times i i don't know if anyone watched my last video if you had an existential crisis fuck yeah dude that's that's what i was going for uh that was a long video to make but i'm really happy with it i think it's really cool 
and I wanted to make a video to kind of cool down, you know, a little relax, get back to the album covers. I, up I uploaded the background music to it as well, a uh, bird song. So if you wanna, if you wanna give that a listen, uh, boost my ego of my producer. My producing self that'd be pretty cool yeah that's that's blonde by frank ocean so if everyone's grabbing their blonde records on their crosley record player then i guess you guys are good to go so thank you for watching and have a pleasant day